Hello there, I am Sean McLaren, and today I have um, the deck very similar to what I played to the Pro Tour, uh, Pro Tour Hour of Devastation in Kyoto. I just got back, and I played Blue-Red Control. Unfortunately, I didn't really do all that well. I did okay in Constructed, but got run over by the breakout deck which was Rumunap Red. <laughs> so uh, I updated the list to hopefully be a bit better against Mono Red Aggro. Um, I mean the thing is you're playing Blue Red Control you probably aren't gonna have a great matchup against Mono Red but I think you can get a good matchup against the entire rest of the field pretty much, um, except for maybe a few fringe decks. So, yeah, could still be a reasonable deck, even though it's not great against the best deck of the format. So, yeah, let's go over the cards. Um, so, four Magma Sprays, one of the best cards against uh, Mono Red. Uh, just because it's so cheap, being one mana allows you to sort of sneak it in and kill things really early on and uh, not get too low of a life total against Mono Red and also Exiles which is relevant in a lot of different matchups and just super efficient removal although there are some things that it doesn't kill like Whining Constrictor etc. Harness Lightning just some of the best removal in the format period also generates energy which is good for Aether Hub helps you cast your spells and then also wore the virtuoso out of the board but we'll get to that in a bit a braid is great as well destroys artifacts does three damage super efficient removal and three sweltering suns which is mostly for mono red but great against like zombies and what have you creature decks and then you can just cycle it whenever it's not good or if you need to hit land drops or dig for something Anticipate is a card that I've liked in the deck, just uh, helps you find what you need, can help you find Sweltering Suns, Glimmers, Gear Hulks, Jaces, Counters, and just sort of glues the deck together. Sensor, a great card. I brand four at the Pro Tour, running three here because it's not that great against Mono Red. And Essence Scatter, also a good counter, although generally the, the removal is better against Mono Red unless you're countering Hazaret, basically, since most of the removal kills other stuff anyways. Uh, Supreme Will is a 4 of, one of the best new cards from the set, and really good in blue-red. Being split card mana link impulse is really powerful, and just being able to dig for what you need is is great. And if your opponent casts something, you can counter it. If they don't, you can dig. Um, Disallow, uh, also a great card. Of course, Supreme Will kind of overshadows it due to the versatility, but it's nice to have some hard counters and to be able to disallow like Eternalizes or Planeswalker Ultimates. And a great card to flash back with uh, Torrential Gear Hulk as well. Four Glimmer of Genius is pretty standard. Um, just a great turn four play and gives your your card advantage. Um, Jace, Unraveler of Secrets, not usually a card you see in blue red control main decks, uh, and I'm running two of them. Um, big fan of this card after the new set. There's like much less hard planeswalker removal, and Jace has a really high loyalty, so he's hard to kill through damage and just really prevents um, the deck from flooding which can happen a lot so just resolving a Jace and plussing it for a couple turns can can sort of end the game and if you untap with Jace you're pretty easily able to protect it as well um, also kind of taking a slot of one of the torrential gear hulks which is still great I mean we run three of them but is is a little bit slower for for beating the mono red decks and uh, there's lots of abrades running around to blow it up so 
kind of uh, focusing a bit more on Jace and a bit less on Torrential Gear Hulk, although both are great cards. Um, Commit to Memory is also a really good card, just kind of a split card counter or and removes problem permanence. Um, I like it better against Mono Red than like Hour of Devastation. Um, and they're both kind of similar effects, dealing with like being able to deal with like planeswalkers and gods, etc. But I'm a big fan of having the uh, one of commit to memory and being able to flash it back is also surprisingly relevant when you're just making your land drops and then you're out of gas uh, and you flash back memory and your opponent has like way less land in play than you. You're you're just usually going to win at that point just due to having um, a lot more resources, being able to cast more spells every turn. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure I've ever lost a game where I flash back memory. Not to say you're always flashing it back whenever you have the chance, but usually when you're choosing to flash back memory, you're winning the game, which is a pretty good option to have. Alright, the sideboard, we have Thing in the Ice, which is pretty standard. Opponents are siding out the removal, you're siding in the amazing, the incredible, the thing in the ice. Which, of course, benefits from you running all these spells. Like, Supreme Will is great with Thing in the Ice, Anticipate is great with Thing in the Ice, since you can uh, dig for more spells to flip it easier. And just a surprisingly good blocker, too. Like, against Mono Red, a lot of people... Um, don't like to block with their thing in the ice, but if your opponent is like spending their their second or third turn tapping out to incendiary flow a thing in the ice, that's a, that's really good for you. After you've just blocked creatures as well, it absorbs a lot of damage. Uh, another abrade, just more artifact creature removal if we need it. Negate for mirror and like ramp and mardu decks crook for graveyard decks mostly for god pharaoh's gift decks um so world of virtuoso is pretty much for the mono red matchup although it can be useful in other matchups as well since you can actually generate like a lot of excess energy in this deck and you have no nothing to really sink it into so having access to Whirler Virtuoso is pretty good. The key is that it's two bodies that are actually very well statted against Mono Red though. Like the 1-1 one -one Thopter blocks and kills a lot of their things and they can't really make it so the Thopter can't block if you just create it uh, once they attack. They can't really use their can't block guys to stop the Thopter from blocking. So turn three World of Virtuoso is pretty great against Mono Red. Same with Filigree Familiar. <laughs> it's the only life gain we really have access to. There's not not much life gain um, for Blue Red, which is sad because it makes the Mono Red matchup very difficult. Uh, but the the Fox is uh, <laughs> kind of our filler here. Uh, haven't tested with the fox much. I mean, in theory, it seems okay, although mono red can make it so it, so it can't block pretty easily as well. But at least it's doing something. So two disallows. Whenever we want more counters, is good to have access to Glorybringer. Good for finish closing out games. Again, our opponents are siding out the removal a lot of the time, and then Glorybringer is going to like two for one them at least, possibly even more and Hour of Devastation. Not that great against Mono Red um, because it's too slow, but pretty much good against any other creature deck post-board when they're bringing in Planeswalkers and the games are getting scrappier and you need like some way to clean up things and Planeswalkers. So yeah, that's the deck. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I really like Blue Red, but uh, Mono Red isn't the greatest matchup, so we'll see if if we have uh, solved the matchup and play some games. So let's get to it.